Good morning, my friends. I'm sorry I'm not going to be with you today, but um, I think you're going to have fun anyway because we're going to play instruments all day. Um, so let's start with our song. Our, I'm going to do a hooray song today. Welcome to my monkey friends. It's time to sing and play again. Time to clap your hands. Time to stomp your feet. instruments. I want to talk about them real quick um, and then you guys can get to playing, okay? So we'll start with uh, Jingle Bells. You know Jingle Bells, you've heard them before. Um, play them just by holding them. You can put them on your wrists, they Velcro, or you can put them on your ankles um, and dance around. That's cool too. Um, I would like it if people did not try to make a necklace out of it and put it around your neck. The um, Some people have done this and they get their hair caught on the bell and then it hurts to try to take it off. So let's just avoid that, shall we? Um, we've got this awesome thing called a xylophone. A xylophone is, uh, the, the bars are made of wood. It makes a scale, kind of like when we do boom whacker, so. Right? Um, very simple, very fun to play. You don't have to bang it hard. Um, to play it, you don't have to, and I'd like for you to hit it in the middle, in the middle here, versus on the side, because when you hit it here, um, sometimes the, the bars will flip off, and then we have to reassemble it, and it's, it's kind of, it's not the easiest thing. So, um, it's easy, it's not hard, but it's, it's, it's a pain to have to do it. So, let's just not hit it too hard on the, on the edge. Um, next we've got... Uh, tambourines. So tambourine is very similar to uh, the uh, frame drums that we played a couple weeks ago. It has a frame, it has a skin in the, that meets at the rim, and uh, the thing that makes it different is these things called jangles, and it has a, uh, several sets of jangles. And you can hit it just like we did with the drum. You can hit it on the on the rim, you can hit it in the middle, you can tap it on the ground, you can tap it on your hand. Um, lots of ways to play that. I would ask that you don't play it too hard. Um, everything in this room, just like we've talked about before, everything in this room will break if you hit it hard enough. Um, these are. This is an old tambourine. It still works and it's still a good tambourine, but it doesn't have a skin anymore. It used to have a skin, but somebody played it hard enough to break the skin, and so now uh, some of them don't have skins. Um, it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, Similar to our xylophone is this giant thing called a bass bar. It's the same exact idea. It's this uh, big wooden bar, and because it's so much bigger, um, it can make a deeper, bigger sound. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so that'll be fun to play. I put another one back there that's a different tone. This is called a, uh, well, I've been calling it a tritone um, box, but it's got four, which so tri means three, so four would be quad. So I don't know if it's a quad tone box or what, but but again, be careful. Uh, don't hit the, the, these are called tongues. Don't hit them too hard because they're just wood attached to other wood and it can snap and then it won't sound good for anybody. Okay? 
Um, we've got cymbals. Cymbals are very loud. Uh, so play them. I, I encourage you to, to try out a cymbal. Um, but please don't play it 50 times in a row. It, uh, it, it gets really old really quick. But you can let it ring out or you can stop the, stop the ringing and just make that slapping sound. Um, two different ways to play it. But uh, yeah, not, let's not overdo it. Um, tiny cymbals, same thing. Let it ring out or stop it. Uh, we've got this thing called a kabasa. Kabasa is one of my favorite things that we have here. Um, so I like to shake it like this, and then I'll put my hand on it every once in a while, like this. It's pretty cool, right? So that's just me move, making a beat with this hand, and then every once in a while I'll put my hand on it. Okay? Uh, kabasa. This is a kokuriko. It's a it's an instrument from Japan, and uh, it is a it's a bunch of pieces of wood attached to this piece of cloth. And all you do is you hold it um, with your thumbs on the uh, the end pieces and bend it back and forth. You can do it quick, or you can do it slow. It's a very satisfying thing to play. Kokoriko from Japan. I like it very much. Um, this is a castanet. Castanets are a little tricky but I recommend you try it. I recommend you try everything, even if it's tricky, because that's we learn that we love things sometimes from trying things that we didn't want to try in the first place. So you put it on your thumb, you um, try to put it on um, the string on either side of your thumb knuckle, and then you try to just tap it with your fingers. You'll see this in uh, Spanish dancing. People will carry two of them in their hands and they'll, they'll flip them around while they're dancing. It's amazing. Um, and then this is a little easier to play because it's on a stick. Just tap it back and forth. Sand blocks are a great rhythm instrument. I love the sound. It's a very good one. Um, this is a thing called a glockenspiel. It is very similar to a xylophone, um, but you'll see that, uh, that the, the bars are made of metal. And, um, and then you'll see that it's got this second row of, of notes. And what those are is it's similar to a piano, which you can also play, by the way. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, it's similar to a piano in that it has white and, and the black keys on the piano. These are bars, white and black bars, where uh, the xylophone just plays a scale. You can play any scale. You, the, the, uh, the xylophone plays one kind of scale. You can play any scale on a, on a glockenspiel because it has all the notes. We'll, and we'll talk more about that another time. But that's a glockenspiel. And then we've got maracas. We've got two kinds of maracas. We have these plastic maracas that you can tap. They're pretty durable. Um, you can do quite a bit with them. Um, these are made of wood and are more fragile. Some of them are broken, unfortunately. They're very pretty and it makes me sad that some of them are broken. But this one, listen, nice bright sound and then this one is, is just kind of a dull dead sound because it's cracked. So um, again, this is why we take care of our instruments so that we can enjoy them for a, a long, long time. Okay, put those away. We've got this tambourine that's got one set of jangles and it's such a it's such a nice sound to me. It's not overwhelming. It's not too much. And you just play it on your hand like this. I love it. Um, we've got this thing called a guiro, and the way we play a guiro is by rubbing it. Um, and guiros, you normally can tap them. I mean, you can tap this one. It just doesn't make a very nice sound because it's cracked. Um, again, let's take care of our stuff. But usually it would make a brighter sound. But you can, it still makes a nice grinding sound. Um, another type of guiro is a woodblock guiro. So we've got it, it makes that sound, but again, then you, you can tap it and it's, it's a woodblock. Um, you might have seen something like this in a, uh, like a gift shop, but it, it was in the shape of a frog. And, uh, and you could like pull out a little stick and play it on its back. Um, I suspect they do that because it kind of sounds like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a guiro expert. 
Um, these are called clavis or claves. Um, one sound. That's all they do. Uh, it's they're 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 like heavy sticks. They're they're also nice to play. I like them. Um, similar to this wood block, it's got um, one sound. A very loud sound. Please, uh, just like the cymbals, don't go crazy and play this the whole time or over and over and over because it's very loud. But the best place to play it is just above this um, opening. Okay. Um, also, something that can get way too loud, um, cowbells. Cowbells, I love, but it can get old. Um, so play the cowbells, play the different cowbells. We have different sizes, so you can play, um, play the different sizes and hear the different tones that they make. Um, just don't, don't go crazy with the cowbell, okay? Um, this is a triangle, and um, like any instrument or any sound, if you, if you stop the vibration, it doesn't sound so awesome, but if you if you let it ring out by holding holding this wooden thing that's attached to a string, then it makes a nice ringing sound. Uh, if this falls off, it's okay. They come off. They come off, and they can go back on real easily. And if one if there's one in there that you want to play, because there are a lot of different sizes, if it doesn't have a string on it, you can borrow one from a different triangle and slide it on. It's super easy. Okay. Um, one more thing, we've got this set of wood blocks, and it's uh, you might see a drummer put this on their drum set, and it's got five blocks of different sizes, so it makes five different tones. You can play that while it's on the ground. I was just lifting it up to show you. Um, like I said, you can play the piano. Um, please don't bang on the piano. Um, please share the piano there's only one right um and uh it, it, it'll be nice if everybody gets to play um two people can play at once if everybody's okay with that um but please don't just sit at the piano and, and take over the piano that that's not kind and um you guys are kind people um uh, so i know that i know that you you don't want to do things that are unkind um oh a couple other things i forgot to mention i have another xylophone out that's older but remember please um, just play in the middle of the bars um and then i have um something called a metallophone which is exactly the looks exactly alike uh, a xylophone but it's the bars are made of metal not not like a glockenspiel it doesn't have that second row of notes um it's just the one the one row of notes um but that's it i think i think that's it and so I hope you guys have fun. Go rock the house. And if you want to pause this now, I'll see you in a minute and we'll play our goodbye song. Well, I've sung this song and I'll sing it again About the people I've met and the places I've been Troubles bothered my mind. A lot of good people that I've left behind. Singing so long, it's been good to know you. So long, it's been good to know you. So long, it's been good to know you. This dusty old dust is a I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and um, remember to be good to each other and I will see you next time.